sacrifice their relation with God, relationship with God for the child. Now, often your children will want you to lie for them. Often your children will want you to do things for them, which would actually be breaking one of God's laws. Now, if you decide you're going to do that, then you are actually sacrificing your relationship with God, which is actually, remember I've been saying that should be the primary relationship you have in the, in the universe, and you're sacrificing that relationship for a relationship with your child. And why, why might we do that, Well, there might be quite a lot of emotions involved with that. Right? Uh, for example, I may have just an emotion that I, that I don't want to feel, which is like, I want to have the approval of my child. And so I'll do anything for my child, including breaking God's laws for my child. That's just one example. Yeah, or fear. What will happen if I don't do this for my child? Yeah. So, for example, like, uh, your child may not want to go to school, for example. And so you may decide, in harmony with the laws of free will, that you're not going to send your child to school anymore. Uh, which means you're going to get a letter probably from the school saying that you're being a bad mother or a bad father or whatever and, you know, this is illegal and all those kind of things, right? And, uh, and then you may decide, well I'll, well, I'll try and force the child to go to school. So rather than forcing them physically, you may then decide to do it with a reward-based system. So if they go to school, you'll do this for them or if you go to school, you'll do that for them. Now what you're doing is breaking the law of God then because you're you're actually prostituting yourself in order to get somebody else to do something. Does that make sense? And it's very dangerous and damaging to the child. It's much better they don't go to school and you face up with the issues about that. And honestly, if everybody did that, you know, we'd have a far different education system than we've got today, if everybody did it. But of course, very few people want to because we, we, we create these organisations called, you know, like the education system, which we then think have a mind of their own. And then we start doing everything for them, but a lot of times they're not harmonious with divine love in the way that they're operating. So I'm not saying don't send the child to school. What I'm saying is ask yourself why they don't want to go. Let yourself feel the emotion inside of that. Because there's something inside of you is the reason why they don't want to go. It's very important to understand that. 